Aaron Douglas was an African-American painter who was influential in the Harlem Renaissance about a hundred years ago. Sometimes called the father of black American art, Douglas was interested in art early in his life. He was born in Topeka, Kansas on May 26, 1899. His mother liked to paint with watercolors. He began his career with book illustration, which quickly grew to demand for more and more illustrations and graphic designs. He also taught at Fisk University for nearly 30 years. His style was influenced by African, Egyptian, and Art Deco styles. Most of his works feature bold, graphic silhouettes of people, fractured color planes, and harmonious color schemes. His most famous work is a series of murals, each depicting a different part of the African American experience. Join me today to create an Aaron Douglas inspired painting or drawing. You can use markers, paints, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have on hand. Let's begin. For our Aaron Douglas inspired artwork this week, I'm going to need um, markers, crayons, colored pencils, or paints in a variety of colors of the same shade. So I chose green for this. Earlier I did a painting that used purple and I made tints of purple, which means lighter tones, by mixing more white into the purple. And then for the silhouette, I used it full strength. But I'm gonna show you with markers. That's a little bit easier. So maybe do the tempera paints or you could use watercolors if you want a challenge. So you're gonna have a bunch of basically one color group of markers. And then if you have a ruler and a compass, if you don't have a ruler and a compass, you can use a cup or a bottle to trace or plates to trace circles, or you can just draw them freehand and a pencil and an eraser. So for my project, I want to draw an important or memorable moment from my life. I'm going to draw a time that I hiked and backpacked up a very big mountain in New York called Mount Marcy. And when I got to the top, it was a beautiful view. So I'm going to lightly draw some mountains like what I saw that day. And then I'm going to draw myself in a silhouette. So just the outline of my body. I'm going to start by sketching my body and then I can make my sketch a little more detailed. Okay, so now I have a very rough sketch and I'm going to erase some of these extra lines to make it easier to use my markers and know where I'm going. Okay, so I'm taking my sketch and making it really just the outlines now. You want to erase your lines because if you draw heavy with your pencil like I am so that it shows up on the camera, they'll show through once you color with markers. I normally tell students to draw light until it's right. That way it's much easier to cover your lines, but then it doesn't show up well on the camera. So I'm drawing dark today. All right, there we go. And that's my basic drawing. Next, I am going to do some concentric circles and some lines in the style of Aaron Douglas. So I wanna start with a compass or if you're using something to trace like a cup, start around the most important part of your drawing and work from there. I'm gonna make a big circle and then I'll let my circles get smaller.
make my compass smaller. Trying to keep the center of the compass in the same place the whole time. So if you're using cups or plates, try to keep that center point and work out from there. Now my compass won't go this large, so I'm just going to sketch another circle way out here. Now I've already got one line kind of radiating from the middle. I'm going to put one or two more to break up the space and make it more interesting. And all my lines are going to be coming out from the figure in my drawing. I think I'll make one more here. And now I'm ready to color or paint with whatever medium you want to use. Now it's time to add color to our Aaron Douglas inspired painting or drawing. So I want to use a really dark, dark color for the body or silhouette, the main character in my artwork. So I'm going to find my darkest color and go ahead and fill the silhouette in with that. If you're using crayons, markers, colored pencils. Okay, and then I'm not going to use much more of this dark color. I'm going to use a little bit of it here in the foreground, the part of my drawing that's closest to me. But then I'm going to start using lighter and lighter tints of green for the rest of the composition. What do you think? There we have our Aaron Douglas inspired silhouette art project in marker or in paint. I hope you have fun with this project and I'll see you next time.